Well, hello there. Thanks for joining me. I've managed to, uh, just at the last minute, wangle a couple of nights up in Cumbria. And uh, I was scratching my head on uh, Sunday night, a couple of nights ago, thinking where could I go. And uh, I noticed that the National Trust campsite at uh, Great Langdale was still open and uh, staying on my own it was only £11 a night so it was hardly worth uh, bothering about uh, finding a stealthy camp, uh, a stealthy car park or whatever to stay on I just thought I'll stop there and then you've got the toilet blocks and the uh, chemical disposal and showers and whatever I need £11 a night, that's brilliant so uh, literally just arrived lots of low cloud and it was uh, quite foggy on the drive up here um, it's just after midday and obviously it's mid-December so I've probably got kind of uh, an hour, an hour and a half uh, either way I'm just, I'm just heading for a walk up um, the Langdale Valley and uh, tomorrow hoping to do Pike of Blisco which is up behind me and uh, I'll do a separate video of that should it happen but on this one I'll just show you this uh, little walk up the Langdale Valley. Uh, we're just below the Langdale Pikes now. And uh, yeah, it's a, a nice walk. Um, Alan Metalman. Hello, Alan. Uh, he did it on one of his videos about a year ago. And uh, I was just searching about for a, a nice afternoon walk and I found that. So uh, I'm going having a look now. Why not stick around and join me? So first off the path just uh, climbs up through the farmyard and then sets off left along the valley and it's just pretty much a straight out and a straight back. Old Dungeon Gill uh, pub is right behind me so uh, obviously I'll have to be uh, checking that out, be rude not to wouldn't it? And uh, yeah, low cloud down over the peaks, but it is absolutely stunning. see uh, Pike of Blisco just uh, momentarily peeping through the clouds just to my left and then I think moving round that's uh, Crinkle Crags uh, but uh, you can't see that's completely shrouded in cloud but uh, yeah hopefully tomorrow I'll be up there all being well It's uh, prettier and prettier the higher you come up. Bit of a cold breeze. So uh, yeah, it should be fun up on the tops tomorrow. again so we're just uh, crossing this little footbridge and then making a right turn up along the gill
Oh, I've just got up to the falls. Absolutely beautiful. A little bit of a climb at the end, but the uh, the rest of the path all the way along is uh, fairly level. So uh, yeah, nice afternoon walk, and uh, it's probably no more than a couple of miles from the campsite to here. So uh, yeah, just what I needed to uh, while away the afternoon. So I'm going to turn around here and head back down and uh, and see if it's uh, round about time for a beer. <laughs> If you can think of a better way to uh, spend a Tuesday afternoon, I'm all ears. Because I can. Fantastic. A bit cold for a dip so uh, heading back for a cup of tea instead I think <laughs> really stunning that pool that's just on the lower section uh, where it's all flat so you kind of come to that first but uh, yeah the water is just crystal clear beautiful Well, that's me done, back at the van, just getting my boots off, uh, decent little afternoon's walk and thanks again to uh, Alan Metalman for his video recommending this walk, I think he, as I say, picked it up from somewhere else but uh, uh, I got it from Alan, so cheers again, I'm just going to get my boots off, uh, have a cup of tea I might just bring you back for a uh, cheers when I get over to the pub in a uh, an hour or so. Um, but uh, yeah, really pretty walk, a uh, nice little climb at the end. And I'd just like to say thanks once again for joining me. And uh, if you have watched this far, if you wouldn't mind giving it a thumbs up, or maybe considering uh, subscribing if you haven't already. And uh, either way, I'll no doubt catch you very soon on another video. Cheers folks, goodbye.